What's up my YouTube family and friends? My kings and queens, keeping it real for Lunder. I'm back again with another video today. I hope everybody is well, blessed, and no COVID. So, guess what I'm cooking, y'all? Today, some collard green with pigtail. So, let's get started, and I'm gonna show you what I have. Okay, I have three small bunches of collard green. They've already been cleaned and washed. Got that. I have four slices of salt meat, fat back. I have that. Let's get this started. Let's go over here. First, y'all, turn the eye on. Okay, turn it on. And I also have my pigtail. You have to always cook your pork meat way before you cook your greens. So I let the pigtail cook for about, ooh, I think I'm thinking cooked a good two hours, my pigtails. And they take a long time to cook. I think I, it took about two hours and a half at the most. But they're good and tender, and I'm gonna put my greens in there. Okay? Got my pigtails. Okay, back to our ingredients. Okay, I'm also gonna put <clears throat> a half a red pepper, one whole onion, and a half a green bell pepper. So that's all I'm putting in there. Let me put my meat back on. Come on. Man. You know how it is. I don't know how it go. I don't know how it go. I'm gonna put this in. All right, can y'all see that? Put my fat back in. See that? Don't let it burn, y'all. You don't want that to burn. So that's why I got on low heat. So it won't burn, okay? All right, let that cook a little slower. Now I'm finna dice up my season. Gotta be careful with these knives, too, because these things will cut you. This is sure the name. And you bleed. <laughs> they will get you. And then we like seeing our season, you know. We like seeing it. Now I'm gonna do my bell pepper. Cut that. A lot of people do not put bell pepper in their green. It just enhances the green more to me. When you put bell pepper, onion in it, red pepper, it just make them flavor just be all over your mouth, you know? And that's what I like. I like them flavors popping. And when you're using pigtails, please do not put no salt 
be your fool. Looks like the pigtails are in the sauce. And the fat back. So, do not do that. A lot of salt. Don't wash it on. That's the season. You don't wash it on. Okay. All right. Put that in there. Oh, you're trying to get away. Get back over here. Get back in there. Now I'm going to cut my onion. Let me stir my salt meat now. Right quick. And you just want it to brown. I think the fire is just a little bit too high. You turn it down some. You don't want to smoke up your house. So we're gonna turn that down a little. You're not trying to get it way up down, just put a little brown on it. That's it. And I got my eye real low, see that? You want your eye low. Because you're not trying to smoke up your house. And that can happen. You don't want that. Oh yeah, you want some fat back in your greens? You most definitely do. Okay, I'm finna cut the onion. Oh, yeah. Still the onion. Uh oh. Like I told y'all, not my pro in shopping. Shopping, not shop. But chop. No pro in that. But I know you gotta cut it up, and that's what I'm doing. Okay. And like I always told you, the bigger your season are, especially when you know it's gonna cook down, it's gonna be cooking for a long time. You can do that. But if some quick, then you saute that season until you get it caramelized. Uh, you know? Okay, let's see how my salt me looking at them. See if that's good enough for the girls. See, that's good enough. Now I can turn my eye off. And you see the grease that's in there? I'm gonna pour it in my grease, so I keep on with it. I do not throw it away. to the stove. Jump on. Come on to the stove. Now what I'm going to do, see this big boy, this big boy finna come over here. That little boy finna go over there. Alright? So. Let me put that little boy 
over here because we well, don't need to turn that back on. Then I'm gonna put this big boy right here. Now we finna get started. Like I told y'all. Oh, I forgot one thing. I'm sorry, y'all. Just say this one cup. Hold on, the camera phone. All right. We're gonna say this one cup of chicken broth. So I'm putting my chicken broth. Okay, y'all got my chicken broth in there. I got my chicken broth. I got my, let me turn my eye on. This on. I don't want it real high. Okay. Now I'm gonna put my fat back in there. I see. Put all that good stuff in there. All that. And put this in the sink. Now, we're finna put the greens in slowly, y'all, okay? Do this right here. I'll put you right here. And you see, I didn't put no water because the greens gonna make their own water. So now I'll put my greens in. It's a little closer. Now, what I'm gonna try to do is try to stir the meat over the greens some. So what I'm trying to do, y'all. Let's see how I did that, y'all. Now I'm put some more greens in there. Be careful because they'll fall everywhere. Put that in. And then what the greens gonna do, they are gonna cook down. And there's nothing you can do until your greens have cooked down. You can't put no season, no nothing. And then the little water off of it, just pour it in there, okay? Now I'm gonna put the top on it, just a minute, wash my hands. Now, I'm gonna put my top on it. And when it cooked down, then that's when I put my season, my whatever little season I'm gonna put in there. Wish I hadn't sent it out. Forgive me, y'all, I will. I just been having a lot of company. But uh, this gotta cook down. And when this come cook down, I'll be back to show y'all how season the greens. And I'll be right back. Don't y'all go nowhere. Love you. What's up, my YouTube friends and my kings and queen? Keeping it real with Linda. I'm back. The greens has cooked down. So I'm going to show y'all how they look. And then i show you the rest of the ingredient that I put in my greens, okay? Here we go. Just a minute. Okay. Take the top off. Now I want y'all to see how they cook down. Let's see how they cook down. This is how they look when they cook down. See them pigtails in there? Okay, now I'm finna add my season. 
to them. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, I have two tablespoons of oil. So I'm going to put the oil in there. And the oil make the green shine, keep them looking darker. And it also help your the nutrition in your body, you know. That's, let's mix that well, y'all. Now, I'm gonna add a little season. I'm not gonna put a lot of season because remember, the pigtail is already salty. I already added salt meat, which that was salty. I'm gonna add like a little bit of onion powder, not much. Just enough to give it a taste. I think that's enough. I'm gonna add a little garlic powder. <clears throat> not a lot, just enough to put a little season in there. Okay. I'm gonna add a little smoked paprika. Smoked paprika. black pepper in it and I also will be putting okra whole okra in my greens now that's enough a season now I'm gonna stir my greens see how my season look I'm not putting a lot okay. And you see, there's not a lot of water in the greens. You know, I hate to see people put a lot of water in their greens when they don't have to. They green be so watery. I don't like that. So I'm just letting you know you don't have to do that. But if you see where you think you need to add a little more water, then do so. I'm not going to say I might have to add a little more. But usually, I do not have to. Okay. I got all the season mixed well in there. So now, I'm going to put my onions and my bell pepper and my red pepper. I'm just going to pour it in there. Okay. Now I'm gonna stir everything together. And this onion bell pepper gonna get, ooh, more flavor. I'll tell y'all, I promise you, the greens are gonna be delicious. Can't you not? How they look with the bell pepper and everything in it. This is how they look. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my top back on it and let it cook for a good 45 minutes. But I say anywhere from 45 minutes to hour the greens to be done. But I'll be back in about 30 minutes though. Let me get them, show you what I got. I have whole okra in home. I'm not gonna put this whole bag, I promise you. But I'm gonna put about, half, about that much in there. About half of the bag. So I'm gonna leave these laid out. So when I do come back, um, well, I'm letting y'all know I'm putting okra in now. So when I come back, the greens will be done. But I, I'm letting you know that okra will be going in it. Instead of just keep coming back on the farm, I'm gonna go on, finish the greens. And then, 
I'll be back. What's up, my kings and queens? I'm back. The greens is done. I'm going to let y'all see how they look. Okay. Here we go. And this is the finish. This is how they look. See all them peppers and okra and pigtails. That's how they look. Woo! Everything's super. I just burned my arm. I just burned my arm a little. I did fix the plate to show y'all how it look. The greens, pigtail, and cornbread. And they're just too hot, y'all. To put them in my mouth is too hot. But this is it. This is my thumbnail. Okay. Well, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed my video. Hope y'all like my recipe. Uh, and just try. And y'all just keep liking, sharing, subscribe. And keep watching my video. You will get a notification every time I post a video. If you are my subscribers. If you have not subscribed, please go and like, share, watch the video. Like, share, and uh, subscribe. Even though you don't have time to look at the video, just like. If you already subscribed, you don't have to worry about subscribing. So, all my supporters must subscribe on my viewers. Thank y'all. Thank y'all again for everything, for watching my video. And I thank, I thank y'all for taking the time out to look. I might not be the best, but I can cook. So that's good enough for me. And I just thank y'all. I appreciate y'all very, appreciate y'all very much for continuing watching my cooking ch channel. So. Until the next video, I stay blessed, stay out of trouble, keep it real. Until the next video. Bye.